Good morning, I'm Derek, and I'd like to talk to you a bit about my fan game, Work in Progress. And, uh, continuing to work on this guy, a regular Space Marine for, for my tabletop army, which uh, I, I don't have rules for, and we'll see what happens when the new codex comes out. I went ahead a little further on this guy and gave him a wash of, not, not, not a wash, more of a dry brush of green that barely shows up because he needs five or six little layers to get the correct just hint of green in the, in the largely just dark. And making sure that we are in focus. And he will need another, another bit more on his pauldrons. And one. One of the first things I wanted to do before painting on him was to get some of his highlights going. And already screwed up a couple times. That's all right. He's got some happy grenades there. I probably wanted to go ahead and get all of these fiddly bits anyway. But that's... the gold highlights on his armor is going to be a little bit better after he gets the green. For the most part, I've given all of the guys just some Sharpie on their um, Mark III homes there. Not the best. Too bad. <laughs> Note the self, I, I should have laid out all my brushes beforehand. My bad. Just, just a hint. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see, I could tell some stories. I was really impressed hanging out with my friend Mike. He let slip that uh, he used to hang out with a guy in Oregon who had the uh, multiplayer camera that Disney had used on some projects. So just hanging out in the studio or something, and uh, Mike got to operate it. 
helping out on some animation project, and I was I was really impressed. I had a very nice nerd moment there. And just, I don't know if any green is showing up at all, to be honest. Maybe I will adjust the colored lighting a bit. And half the green went away. That, uh, that's a scout arm. I admit it. And made that about as tricky as possible. I should have gone over with the black first. So maybe I'll leave that one piece until next time. And I should have done his, uh, his loin cloth thingy first. Going a little heavy on the places that are. I'm not going to get a whole lot of detail or scene, so I don't want to spend too much time with them. Let's see, I met Mike working at the football stadium. And um, after the game, all the, all of us would go and hang out at the bar and actually watch the game on the bar, usually, you know, replayed. And it was nice because we always had the uh, stadium discount at the bar. And we, we had to drink, like, all the new beers when they came out so we would be knowledgeable in case customers asked, uh, what's this beer like? So that was our excuse for going to spend, you know, maybe three, four hours at the bar after the game. And that's usually after a 10 or 15 hour game. But it was awesome. So whenever I have this chance to go work for the stadium, I, I recommend it. It's not for everybody, but it's really special. Not as organized this time as in the past. And I just, I really enjoy just sitting here and dry brushing the tiniest little bit of green onto these guys. Oh, touched up. I don't know, I'm almost going there with the black in a bit and rebrush some of that out. And working on my fan game again the last couple of days. I am um, every other iteration before is just kind of focused on a void ship. And what I'm doing now is I'm I'm starting with like a, I don't know, a God's eye view of the galaxy map. And then I have my solitaire-like hand cards on the top of the screen. And I'm working right now on right-clicking and left-clicking those buttons to move the camera focus. Or, or control focus. So uh, let's see. Uh, right click would bring up the uh, the object, the void ship, the character, the the fortress, the planet into the main view, and then the left click would bring up its orders, options, info window. So yeah, that 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 took forever to kind of suss out as a system in a way that, that could be doable. But I think it will work and also be nicely intuitive. The map doesn't have a lot. Uh, it's starting in M31 in the Age of the Scouring. So the only, I don't have a, there's only 
the only entities that are on the map really doing things are orc little orc empires and warlords and stuff and traitors fleeing towards the eye of terror so let me just kind of need to go and look and see what some other people have done with their backpacks. So I'm using the least chaos -y chaos backpacks that, that I got because I want these guys to feel like they are, you know, second founding Marines. So they're, they're very they're old terribly misguided uh, they don't they don't trust the primaris and you know they're well well outside And, you know, he'll, he'll get a wash, and that will bring back out all those details. And, you know, maybe a good hour of just the dry brushing, because it's just so relaxing just to sit here and lay on the most minimal amount of pigment. And, you know, he's starting to get a tone. Let's see how... Um, the bolter is doing he's just he has got his most basic layer of really 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 dark green just needs, just needs a little bit more it's just barely touching the model yes adding some pigment We'll go in with the detail brush later and get some of those awkward areas. Right now, we're just happy to get a, a hint, just a hint of green on them because we don't want them to look like salamanders. <sighs> uh, they already look a little too much like um, Templars as it is. Some of those spots that uh, shouldn't be red. And it goes on a lovely green, but then the, it um, green fades quite a bit after it dries. So it just needs layer and layer and layer. It becomes a nice effect. And did he need any kind of metal? He already, he already got a bit of a highlight on that. I'm a few steps further on. I think he'll be the last bolter and chainsword guy that I need for the ten man squad of Space Marines that, that I want. And I only want the ten Space Marines. Because I want to show that they're rare and unique and special. I'm going to be a real jerk about them. I went with third company so that I can call them my triari. And treat them just like the Romans treated the triari. And force them to sit out the battle until they're needed, if at all. Because they're the veterans. <laughs> My wife got me some beautiful Perry miniatures. Not this guy. Oh, here we go. Light, light French infantry. I 
and I, and I gave him uh, frag grenades to, to make him a bit more. Oh, that's 15 minutes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause and probably come back.